Hey everybody, I got a request to do a review of these Ahead Sticks from Millie 179. Thank you for that, Millie 179. I experimented with sticks from every manufacturer on the planet that I can find anyway. And I did settle for a long time on Regal Tip. To me, were the best balance of density and weight to size, and I just ended up using nothing but Regal Tip 5B for decades. Yes, I'm that old. Regal Tip um, it, it no longer exists, as far as I can tell. And so I started experimenting with other manufacturers, and some of them are really light for size, some are super heavy for size. I did notice that the nylon tips, I prefer nylon tips, but I may switch to wood tips just because no one seems to be able to make a smooth, nicely shaped nylon tip anymore. Regal tips had perfect tips. A lot of other manufacturers had casting flash, they had little nubbins on them, they were leaving marks on the heads. So uh, I decided to give a head a try. I mean, uh, why not, you know? They're expensive. I got these at Sweetwater and they were about 35 bucks a pair and they feel different but not weird um, kind of hard to describe I just got regular 5B I mean why not start with what I'm used to ostensibly and when I got the sticks you'll notice the tips are slightly different um, when I ordered these, I ordered extra tips and I ordered extra sleeves uh, and from what I read on the internet, the sleeves can take a beating on the edges of the cymbals. Uh, so you do have to watch your cymbal technique and don't be chopping at the edge of your cymbals. These things will get eaten up. It's a steel rod covered with a plastic sheet. The tip threads on. Um, and then this is the end of the, the steel core, I think, as far as I can tell, I didn't take it completely apart. But getting back to the different tips, when I got these, one of them was slightly longer than the other, and it, um, it rattled. The longer one rattled. So I assumed that the tip had not been tightened all the way. So um, I read their instructions on how to disassemble these things because the parts are replaceable. You can get replacement sleeves and tips. I got replacement tips, sleeves, and they've got a ring, which I think is to bridge the gap between the core and the sleeve. So I, uh, per their instructions, their tightening and loosen, loosening instructions on the tips, I tried tightening that tip and I got it to tighten, but it was so tight that it mangled the tip. So I replaced that tip. This is the replacement tip. This is the original tip. So bottom line, they ended up the same length. They're a tiny bit shorter. Here's a Promark 5B in comparison. And you can see the Promark is just a, this is 16 inches long. This is just a hair under 16. It's not noticeable when you're playing. It's, I don't know, maybe a 16th of an inch difference. Um, the grip did not afford very good traction. Um, and uh, I went on Ahead's website and they offer gloves and they recommend using their gloves and there ain't no way I'm going to play with gloves. So these seem to be suited more to uh, really heavy hitters. I mean I can be at times but I'm not known anymore as a heavy hitter. So what I do is I coat the handles, I coat the handles of all of my sticks with a gloss finish. I usually use either polyurethane or varnish. These I just dunked in a can of varnish and let them dry. 
and the grip is outstanding. They're they're very comfortable to play. Um, they're not nearly as front heavy as your more typical 5B. 5Bs typically have more weight out toward the tip end. And these, I would say, feel more like a 5A, but they've got the shaft diameter of a 5B. So, I kind of like them. Um, things feel okay. Um, I wouldn't consider them a quantum leap um, and the tips are just okay. At least they don't have tree nubbins or um, molding flash on them. They are relatively smooth but getting them tightened without damaging them is tricky. Um, that kind of made it happen. A lot of molding flash on the sleeves. They look kind of cheesy, but you know what? You can't see that from two feet away. I'm just really picky. So, if you do decide to try these, I recommend them, but not without some reservations. Um, and if you don't particularly care for the size, you end up with then it starts getting expensive in a big hurry. You can't just try 10 different sizes. You can. You could try 10 different sizes. Thanks again to Millie179 for the request.